you gonna get then? Burger King. Alright, come, let's go. Ooh, how like Huh? Mm, chips. We can only get there if we try. Wanna believe in that we can find every long piece of. Can I have um, a bacon XL double cheeseburger milk, please? Black you, milk? Yeah. Um, do you do Dr. Pepper yet? No, we don't have Dr. Alright, I'll have a Sprite then, please. Bacon? Yeah, do you want a, a bacon? Okay, can I just have a normal bacon double cheese special meal? And can I have it with one of the cherry bits? We haven't got any. Yeah, I haven't got any. We've got any of the cheese cup of coke, orange juice, water. I'll have a Sprite then, please. And then can I also have a well warm virgin waffles? And you haven't got any of the Sorry? We've got only pancakes or any of these donuts or muffins at the moment. Oh, I'll have uh, pancakes then, please. Anything else? Do you want no, a sundae then? Uh, yeah, what? Have you got ice cream? You're not getting I haven't got ice cream. I haven't got any. Have you got no ice cream? The ice cream machine is not working due to that. Okay. We can't do Belgian waffles and we can't do the other things. They have no mayo. You'll have the Belgian waffles. They are coming with ice cream, basically. Can you do some Belgian waffles without the ice cream, though? No. Yeah, they're not coming with the ice cream. Can I have that instead? I don't like ice cream. It's going to be just plain. Yeah, that's fine. I don't like ice cream anyway. I don't need the ice what cream. What about caramel? Does it have caramel on it? We can do the toast on it. Yeah, 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 that's fine. No, I'm So we're leaving Burger King now and uh, they didn't have my ice cream, they uh, had like waffle that you can put in the caramel and literally nothing else and it's just all so long, it's um, oh well I don't know we're on our way and we're gonna hopefully get stuff done and we're gonna go and munch this in the car right now and what have you got? We've got two Sprite drinks, bacon XL double cheeseburger. They've had no coke, no ice cream, no cup holders. No, like, lid for my waffle. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, they didn't have anything, did they? Bad times. Yeah. Right, okay. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> very nice guy, very nice guy. We're actually here, proactive. Yeah, so we're gonna just go in and I'm gonna stick on. Well, I don't even know if you can film in here because they've got a lot of security and stuff, and uh, they have to do loads of security measures. So um, hopefully, I'll be able to take it in there. If not, I'll leave you here, obviously. Come in and purchase something, please. Okay, coming up. All right. Oh. Well, yeah, yeah, I want that definitely, and um, obviously the gimbal and everything together. Yeah, so let's. Oh, you got added a DJI. What's that? Phantom 3? Yeah. Where's the 4? Oh, you've added another room as well. Yeah, we haven't got the 4 yet. Okay. Um, it's not been released yet. So we're in Pro Act. Well, it's Pro AV, isn't it? What's Pro it? Pro Act. Company's proactive. Company's proactive. Websites proav.co.uk. Websites proav.co.uk. Well, let's have a little look around. So, huh, the old James Bond car. That is cool. Can I have that? <laughs> that is real cool. So, they've got a crane here for a normal camera and that. Got a moped in there for me to ride off, a couple of beers for me to have a drink. <laughs> Got some screens, nice handheld ones, very nice and sturdy. Some cheap lights, 665 pound. That's not, oh, well, that's including VAT. 56 Kelvin, big TV for me to play around with when I'm gaming. <laughs> some lenses, excellent. And you put um, a desk here now as well. That weren't there before. Still got the train set. I, f I can't remember if that was over that side though got a nice oh this feels really smooth so this is your cheaper range isn't it the e image uh, yeah that's an ex double slider so that's 
So it basically doubles the size when you actually slide across. When you're on a tripod, yeah, it doubles in size. So what's this? This is about 60 centimetres, isn't it? And then it obviously doubles to about 120. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Right, okay. Yeah, that's really quite smooth, actually. I like that. Excellent. Got all the gear in here. What's that? Is that a 5D Mark III? Yeah, I've got that camera, but I haven't got the battery. I need to get the battery. And I need to get something electronic like this. Still so high footage. What's that? Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Oh, that's it. Did you not have a desk? Yeah, you used to have a desk here. Okay. All right, nice little big crane here. This is a TV one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it means pretty much it. It's not a nice all rounder. Oh, yeah, they're weighty. Like it, like it. Right, okay, show me uh, the camera I came to buy then. Please. Right. Yeah, oh yeah, so that's what I want to come down and get next. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might just still keep this, but I want to buy this, because I think this is cool, but I've, all the bits I've seen that you can buy on it's quite expensive. And I'm thinking, well, I might as well just go for the bigger one. I'll either buy this, or I want to have DJ Ronin. That's what I was going to get before, I was going to get that. But that is more compact and better for my needs rather than setting up a bigger camera and everything for that. But yeah, this has got some big wings. Have you flown one of these yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've taken quite a lot to be fair. It's not really the weather at the moment, that's the yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah, with the wind and stuff like that, it's a bit. Um, but yeah, I've got the Osmo. Right, here we go. This is quite weighty. So this is the Osmo, what one is it? The basic one. Yeah, it's just got the X3 gimbal on there. It's got an X3 gimbal, that means it's uh, stabilisation. I can move my arm and move around and it will just stay in the same place. And it's got um, a cursor, it's just all software. And basically you can move it around and navigate pretty well. And then on the side, it's got a left-hand side mount for your phone so you can see what you're looking at. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, it does feel really nice. Yeah, joystick to navigate, it feels really smooth. It's not, it feels a bit plasticky though. Why is DJI not making it metal? <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's, it's, it feels like good quality. It feels really sturdy and stuff. And it's got a little motor in there as well. It's cool. All right then, I'll have one of them. Um, can you show me what the tripod looks like as well, please? Uh, the, are we, I can bring the bits up for you. That's not a problem at all. I'll bring them up for you. Yeah. Them is that the case you have to buy it or does it come with that it? It comes with the case. Okay, so this. Oh, does it come with this case, you say? Yes. yes. Oh wow, okay. So it comes with this case, and this is the Osmo case, and it comes in with this, and, oh, do you get the phone mount as well with it? You get the phone mount, yeah. Excellent, so you get quite a lot for your money for that. So that's why I opted, rather than getting one of these, which I could put my 600D uh, in, or my 5D Mark III, uh, which I'll probably still have to get anyway, so I can do cinema photography with it. And this is basically a human gimbal you walk around with, and then you've got, a miniature gimbal here and it is it's pretty cool actually DJI do know what they're doing with that and uh, yeah there's another one as well this is a DJI Ronin and then you've got a remote control there and then someone controls that and they can f turn it and left and right but oh, don't worry about it what we're gonna do we're gonna do a review on it on my main channel anyway and then we're gonna actually well, we're going to use that as well so I can record some in 4K even though I've got a Hero 4 and I can record in 4K there but I just want something a little bit more stable and a bit more stabilisation. I might even use that for actually doing some unboxings as well. But yeah, I'm going to buy quite a few bits. Look at the size of these cases. These cases are like a metre in width. And this one's a little bit smaller. It's cool though. Cool gear. What have we got here? That looks like a YouTube camera that everyone likes to get. Uh, what is it? It's the A7S photography's, photographer's dream camera, but not really. It's just like something that they want to chuck in their bag. But it's quite cool. Lightweight and everything like that. Train set for me to take home. It's cool. What you got for me? Come on.